Hello everyone, my name is George Scott 12345 or well that's not my name, but that's my YouTube name. Um today most of my viewers won't like this video because it has nothing to do with anything. It has to do with um a couple things with port forwarding and all that stuff and you know so what we're gonna do is this is the default Mac setup since portforward.com is a little bit outdated and there is no application called airport admin utility anymore that was probably in 2004 with uh, Tiger um, so this is an updated uh, version of how to forward your ports for a game or anything um, now number one if you have an airport if you have an Apple wireless airport go into airport utility now since I don't have an air, uh, wireless airport I won't be able to guide you through the steps, but um, what I will tell you is you'll be able to select your router right here. Then all you'll have to do is click Manual Setup. You'll go to a screen. There'll be a couple tabs up here, and you select you select the one, and it will say Port Mapping. It'll be another little thumb thumb tab there. Now most routers or most conf network configurations allow you to type your IP address into the web browser. Now I'm not going to type my IP address because I have a Netgear router, and Netgear makes it special. And all you have to do is type in routerlogin.com. You'll be prompted for a password, and you just enter that. Now, since I already have it in my keychain, you know what happened. So now, in my router client, down here it says port forwarding, port triggering. You click on that. Now, here's the thing. When you get an IP address, there's a couple differences. If you get an IP address, the internal IP address, which is your router's IP address, which is a little bit longer and bigger, and normally consists of three numbers in between all of the dots. So it would be like 555-644-333-2944, or 244. And um, that's the internal, that's your, that's your router's IP address. Now what you want is you need to get your computer's IP address by going into System Preferences. So now just head on over to network. And your IP address should be right here. Now I blurred it out because I don't want you to see my IP address, but you know, there it is. Okay. So once you get that information, you're gonna put it right here. So let's edit this port. So actually I'm gonna change the port number. If you don't have if you don't have the uh, starting point and an ending point, put them exactly the same. Most routers will ask for a starting point and an ending point, which is fine if you don't have one. So there, that's my that's what it's gonna be forwarded to. This needs to be IP address to the computer and just make a name. It should be two C P and U D P depending on what game you're playing. I'm playing a game called Sarbron, so that's what I'm forwarding. Now uh Sarbron requires me to forward two ports. Uh Oh, so, I'm gonna do that. Now that we've done this, there's no save button, which is kind of funny, and it doesn't have to restart the router to add it. So you're done forwarding your ports. Now, you go into your game and see if the ports forwarded worked to start a server or do whatever you want. I hope this video will help you, and I hope you guys can get your ports forwarded correctly. If not, just leave me a comment or send me a message, and I'll be sure and happy to answer any questions you may have. Alright, see ya.